Hey everyone, Tech Gamer here. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can connect a Microsoft Xbox controller to a Microsoft Windows device. So here we have a Microsoft Xbox Series X controller, and we have a Microsoft Surface running Windows 11. So let's get started. So there are two ways to connect an Xbox controller to your device. One is through the included USB cable, or two is through Bluetooth. I prefer to use Bluetooth just because it's easier and doesn't have the cable all over the place. So, but I'm going to show you both ways. So let's start with the USB cable. So when you got your Xbox, it came with this cable. It came with a USB-A, which is this one, to a USB-C cable, which is this side. This side goes into the device you want to connect your Xbox controller to. In this case, my Microsoft Surface. Now, you need a USB-A port, which is the bigger one. Alternatively, if you have a USB-C to USB-C cable, you can also use that pending the device you're connecting it to has a USB-C port. Some newer laptops, tablets don't have a USB-A port. In this case, the Microsoft Surface does. So I'm going to go ahead here and get this cable plugged in. Okay, it is plugged in. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug the USB-C side into the Xbox controller. It now vibrates and we hear the computer make noise. That's really all you have to do. If we now go ahead and open up the Xbox app, and we'll make it full screen. And if we go to Cloud Gaming, which is what I'm going to be using this for, we will see the controller is connected. So we are done. We are ready to use the Microsoft Surface device for Cloud Gaming. Now, let's go ahead and do that same process again, except this time we'll do it with Bluetooth. So I'm going to go ahead here, disconnect the USB cable, move it out of the way. So. To initiate a Bluetooth connection, you have to set the device you want to connect into what's called pairing mode. Microsoft makes this pretty easy. There is a button on the top right here that you just have to hold down for three seconds and the device will start to flash. But before we're going to do that, we're going to get into the settings on this tablet and get it ready for Bluetooth. So we're going to go into start, settings, and then Bluetooth and devices. And what you want to do now is initiate the pairing. So we're going to go ahead and hold down this button right here till we see the Xbox controller flashing. We're going to go ahead here and add device, Bluetooth device. And as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff in proximity to me. I'm going to go ahead and select the Xbox wireless controller. And we should see we are now connected. The flashing has stopped on the controller and the Windows device has signaled it is connected. So we're just going to hit done. As you can see, we are connected and it shows the approximate battery life of the controller. So let's go ahead and close out settings and go back into the Xbox app. Make it full screen and go to cloud gaming. So as you can see, I'll move this a little closer. We are ready to play. We have the controller connected via Bluetooth and we are good to go. Okay, I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If anyone has any questions or there's something you would love to see me do, please drop a comment on this video. As always, if you could click that like button and subscribe to the channel, that would be totally awesome. And don't forget to enable notifications because I'm going to have more exciting content coming soon. Thanks a lot, everybody, and I will catch everybody later.